In this tutorial, we will be looking at perfect squares. Perfect squares are an integer that can be expressed as the product of two equal positive integers. Based on this, can you guess what the connection to exponents is? The product of two equal positive integers can also be written as the positive integer squared. Let's take a look at what this means in greater detail. When a number has an exponent of 2, we can say that the number is squared. Perfect squares are integers that can also be written as positive integers that are squared. It is okay if you don't remember or know what a positive integer is. We will go over it in the next slide. Here are some examples of perfect squares to look at. While looking at our examples from the previous slide, can you guess what a positive integer is? Positive integers start at 1 and go up from there. A good way to think about them is as counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Here are some examples of positive integers. 1, 5, 54, 1023, 1 million. Here are some examples of non-positive integers. 1.4, 3 over 5, the square root of 111, negative 90. Now we know what a positive integer is and that perfect squares are the equivalent of positive integers squared. Remember, saying a number is squared is another way of saying to the power of 2. Let's look at some examples of perfect squares. 1, 4, 9, 16, and now I'm going to add a few more here to our list. I want to look at this one other way quickly. You may have already made this connection. Why is a perfect square called a perfect square? Bear with me for a moment as we go off track. I promise this will all come together. When measuring a square, we can measure its height and width. To get the area, we multiply height by width. Now, when the height and the width are the same, we call this a perfect square. You can think of this square as perfect because every side is the same. In this example, let's make every side 5. Now our height multiplied by width becomes 5 multiplied by 5, which equals 25. 25 is a perfect square. Now, let's try some examples. I'm going to show examples here, and I want you to answer if they are perfect squares or not. We will look at two conditions. Both need to be true for it to be a perfect square. Is the number being considered a positive integer? Is there a positive integer that can be squared to equal the possible perfect square? Say that ten times fast. I will leave a few seconds after each one for you to decide. 4. 4 is a positive integer and 2 squared equals 4. Yes, 4 is a perfect square. Negative 71. It is a negative number and therefore not a positive integer. There is not an integer that can be squared to get negative 71. So negative 71 is not a perfect square. 30. It is a positive integer, but there is not a positive integer that can be squared to get 30. Therefore, 30 is not a perfect square. 6.7. While 6.7 is a positive, it is not an integer. There is not a positive integer that can be squared to get 6.7. Therefore, 6.7 is not a perfect square. In this lesson, you learned about perfect squares. You learned that a perfect square is an integer that can be expressed as the product of two equal positive integers. This can also be represented using an exponent of two.